Hey everyone, this is Mark. Happy Sunday and happy Easter to each and every one of you. Um, hope you enjoy your time with your families. Hope you have good weather wherever you are. Um, I'm recording this actually in the wee hours of Sunday morning. So I think it's supposed to be fairly sunny today, but I think it's supposed to be a little on the chilly side. So we'll see. Um, but I just wanted to make this quick video. I actually had a request for this. Um, I did a live stream. Uh, I believe Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday. I don't know, the days kind of melt together. Um, and one of the viewers, somebody that was viewing, watching the live stream, had said, hey, Mark, uh, I really enjoyed your uh, video series of uh, Elvis Presley for the New Collector. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen one in a while. Miss them, enjoy them. I found them very informative. You know, are you going to do any more? I said, yeah, you know what, for you. And I'm sorry, I can't remember the name, um, but I do remember you requesting it. So this video is for you. You know who you are. Um, so this is not a particular title or album. Um, this is more for those who uh, have had a desire to collect original presses and original press soundtracks with bonus photos. And... I've come on here to, to tell you, they can be found, they can be had, and they can be had at a good price. You just have to do your research. Buying vinyl, uh, collecting Elvis, or really collecting anything, um, is all about, you have to be thrifty, you have to be patient, and you just have to you know look for the best deals, and sometimes it's being in the right place at the right time, whether you're using eBay, uh, Discogs, um, you know, those are the two main ones that I use. Um, and you can Google it and, and see if you can find, uh, you know, record stores that uh, you may be able to go online and buy. Um, I haven't had as much luck with them. Most of the things that, that I found that I want to show you, I've gotten uh, mostly on eBay, some on Discogs. So um, the first uh, one I want to show you, um, the one I got, this is, yeah, this is the stereo version of, Kissing Cousins, this is a first press, silver top. Um, I got this probably maybe nine or 10 months ago. Got it for a song. Um, the big misconception, uh, especially if you can find an album in either near mint or close to mint condition, is that you gotta, you gotta pay an arm and a leg. And that's just not the case. You just gotta, now some sellers out there will try to charge you a crap load of money. And sometimes you can find, like I found this one, uh, you can find it for a really nice price. As you can see, very, very beautiful condition. Like I said, the vinyl is clean. And this is the stereo version. And then I was also able to get... Now, this one isn't quite as good condition, but it's close. This is the mono uh, uh, version. Also on... Now, these marks you're seeing, that is the plastic container. I got to put this in a new uh, container, but the vinyl is very clean. I'll show you. Vinyl is very clean. And you see no, absolutely no spindle marks whatsoever. Very nice copy. Yeah, it's the actual, um, you can see it's got the original sleeve. It's the, uh, it's the actual plastic that this is in where it's not, not in the greatest of condition. This one I've showed you before. Uh, this is an absolute mint, mint copy of Girl Happy, one of my favorite soundtracks. I mean, look, look at that. Look how white and pristine that is. It's just a beautiful condition. And I probably, I probably paid under, under 50 bucks for this. And you can say, wow, 50 bucks? But for a, a copy in this kind of condition, it's a steal, trust me. Uh, this is another gorgeous copy. This is about as mint as it gets. This is also a mono version of Elvis, Paradise Hawaiian style, original inner sleeve. Look how white that is. And as you can see, what's beautiful about this is these are notoriously thin. I've opened these and they've been, uh, the record is peaked through at the bottom. As you can see, look at that. Absolutely nowhere whatsoever. This is an absolute mint copy. Got this for a great price. This is another one that I got at a really nice price. Plays beautifully. 
Frankie and Johnny, not one of his greatest soundtracks, but there's definitely, on every soundtrack, there's a highlight, highlight songs. A beautiful mint uh, copy of the bonus photo, as you can see. And then one of my favorites in my collection, this is another one that's just absolute mint. Um, spin out, again, got this. I think I got this for right around 45 to $48, if my memory serves me correctly. Look at that. That is absolute perfect condition. Um, vinyl plays quiet. You, you hear no ticks, no pops. I don't think it's ever been played. Again, got this for a really nice price. So, yeah, if you are looking to uh, get new vinyl. Um, oh, I showed this on a live stream. Uh, did show this. Find it. As you all know, this is my favorite album. This is an original press from 1963. This is the stereo version. Um, but this has the original white. See how beautiful and white that is. Actually, you know what? I'll take it out. Now this one does have, see how, see how they, they split? Very common with these sleeves. I did show this the other day in my live stream. Doesn't get any better than that. Look at that. Looks like it was pressed yesterday. No spindle marks. Or side A. Or side 1, I should say. Side 2. Now, there is... You can see it on the inside. It's just the angle that I'm holding at. But just a beautiful, clean copy. Um, I've, I have been wanting a copy of this for the longest time. <sighs> have been wanting this for the longest time. Found this copy on Discogs for $35 and about four bucks to ship it. And as you can see, it's still in the shrink. Nice sharp corners. Look at that. Just a beautiful, still got a price tag on it. It says Jordan Marsh Company. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it has an original sticker on it. Just in fantastic condition. Like I said, I paid, including shipping, I paid under 40 bucks for it. So if you're trying to stay within a budget, you know, like I said, Discogs is hit or miss. Discogs, you can find things that are just way overpriced. And other times you can find things that are priced within most people's budgets. So there you have it. Episode seven, I believe. Hope you all enjoyed watching this. Uh, please like and c consider subscribing. I'm trying to grow the channel. Trying to get the views out there. Um, but I hope to do a live stream. I don't know if I'll be doing a live stream um, this week. My girls are home from school on Easter break. My wife is off a little bit, so we'll be doing some family things. But the week after, I'll do one. Uh, but I do appreciate all of you watching. Again, have a great, happy, and healthy Easter. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.